How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we've got some farm things to take care of. We've got one mission and we brought a special guest. Well, we've got Bonzo. Bonzo's back finally and we got John. Special guest on the show, Hookin' Hogs TV, my guy. He's gonna help us on today's mission. Do you know what today's mission is? Did uh, I, tell, I think I told you, didn't you I? You told me a couple, yeah. You what told did me, I like, say? Uh, we're gonna do some some trapping. Yeah. And uh, I don't, yeah, I don't remember the other uh, one. Okay, well, we were planning on, potentially, maybe, since it's winter now, and a lot of you guys have been asking about the bees, we're gonna try to transport the bees here. Now, there's like tens of thousands of bees in these giant hives at the farm that I got last spring, and we never got any honey out of it, because like, usually the first year you don't get honey, but I wanna bring them here, because it's like, we've got all the wildlife here. We've got Look at Quacky and Tom and Hennifer. What is this? Bro, he will beat your ass too. He will square up on you all day long. Stay there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put him on my shoulder. There you go. Oh, on my head. Oh, oh yeah. Hennifer's chilling. Look at her. There you go. You need to make a TikTok of this, dude. No way. Yeah, dude, you'd be TikTok famous if you did dude. this. Look at this, bro. They're chilling. What's up, boys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> dude, you need TikTok famous. You gotta do it. Hookin's a big TikTok guy. But anyways, we're gonna try to move the... <laughs> oh, here he goes. He's making a TikTok right now. All right, get, look, give the guy a moment. <laughs> okay, he had, his, he had his little 15 seconds of fame. Anyways, we are gonna try to move the beehive. Melee, 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 quit harassing. We're gonna try to move the beehives. Um, don't know how that's gonna work. My theory is we should sit them on the middle seat and put Bonzo and Hookin in the back front seat. to keep an eye. That way if they get out, they'll sting them and not us, hopefully. Um, I don't know, we, we, we'll we have to kind of, maybe we should do some Googling. I usually try not to do Googling before I do my ideas because then it usually turns out even funnier. We're gonna try to look it up, um, but first we gotta take care of all the animals. It's, it's early in the morning, we gotta go through the routine. So we're gonna walk you guys through the routine of the animals and then we gotta go check some traps and then we gotta go down by the pond and check traps on there and then we also need to find a spot. I kind of want to put the bees down by the pond. I feel like that'd be kind of a cool spot for them. Everything's right here, which is nice, but the thing about bees is like, they're not high maintenance. It's not like you gotta go check on them every day. So it's not like it's that big of a deal to go down to the pond once a week or something to go to go check on them and harvest the honey. Plus having something down the by the pond would be kind of cool. I don't know, something different. I think that'd be the best spot. And they're definitely gonna do better here than they did at the farm. Because with the flood last year, there was literally like no flowers and nothing blooming because they were basically living on an island. Versus here, there's gonna be lots of flowers, lots of wild grass or whatever bees like. There'll be plenty of it out here. So we're gonna go scout for a spot, but first we gotta get everything fed. Starting with these guys right here. All right, donkeys and goats. We haven't even named these three dudes yet. I'm, I'm a slacker, if you guys didn't notice. Like I post a video, I'm like, hey, comment a name. And then I go like a month without looking. So I read them, there's some good ones. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, like so we, Oreo. Or, you think Oreo's a good one? Those look like one of the top ones. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, what are you, were you holding that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Get it, Millie. You go get, get him. him. Go get him, Millie. Anyways, we're gonna name the goats. We're not gonna name the donkeys yet. We gotta let more comments roll through um, for me to decide, mainly just because I'm too lazy. But let's name the three. We got two babies and the mom. We gotta name. We gotta that name these. Yeah. You like Oreo? All right. Those let's see. Top. Let's go to the cop. Let's go to the top ones. Salida Goatmez, Goatzilla, <laughs> Vincent Van Goat. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Go Selena, go back. Goat and funny. Ramsey. Goat, goat and Ramsey. Goatzilla. Okay. I had 200. Butter, buttercup. I thought Reese's, it was. I thought it was decent. And Oreo. You 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 down with that? I like you it. Goat, just straight candy. I like candy. Buttercup, Reese's. Buttercup is which one? Buttercup's the mom. Okay. You want to be Buttercup? Looks like a Buttercup. You kind of look like a Buttercup. And then Oreo's obviously that one. Yep. And then that's Reese's. Reese's. That, that, one should be, that one should be Snickers, dude. You, okay, I like Snickers. Snickers. Okay, Snickers, Snickers, yeah. Snickers Oreo, it's got, it's got, and butter. Yeah. All the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we named your friends Karen. now. And Karen's nice. We're not sure Karen's pregnant anymore. To be honest with you, she um she was looking super plump like two weeks ago, and now she's not looking it was that barrel plump. season. It might have been barrel season first. She might have been bloated. I need to get her pregnancy tested somehow, and then stick her back in with Rick, cause we, or Felipe, not Rick, because we need some babies on deck here. I don't know what her strat is, if, oh, if she's pregnant or not. She don't really look that This pregnant. guy's pregnant, right? Yeah, yeah, you're pregnant. Huh, big chungus. All right, you guys want some grain now? Now we named them. We have Oreo, Snickers, and Buttercup. Perfect. Here you go, goats. There you go. There you go. I don't really like specifically measure how much. I know like the old owners of this said like give them a cup a day, which they may eat a little bit more, a little bit less, but I try to kind of spread it all out. That way they can get a bunch. Um, I'm gonna go get some hay too and give them some fresh hay and go check on their water. All right, we got some hay. Don't worry guys, we're coming in clutch here. Yay! Perfect. All right, we gotta go to make sure they've got water. Oh yeah, they got plenty of water. See the new strat? Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Just fill it up right here. Just fill it up. 
What's the thing in there? Heater. Heater. There you go. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is the new watering setup for all the animals. I was tired of making little bowls and stuff. We stole it from Quacky. He's fine. He sells a bunch of water, but this makes it really easy to make sure that they don't run out of water. All right. We've got some grain for uh, Felipe and Rick. We don't give them as much grain because none of them are really pregnant. They're just chilling, but give them a little bit, especially when it's cold outside and uh, check on their hay supply and also check on the water. Hey, how's it going, Rick and Felipe? You guys want some freaking grain? Listen, listen, listen. Juke. There you go. Here, come over here, Rick. Come here. Okay, there you go, buddy. Sheesh. No, Felipe, leave <laughs> Rick alone. There's some over here, Junior. Right here, Rick. Felipe literally just goes after Rick for no reason. Like, he'll be eating, you know, come over and just buck Rick for no good reason. So I try to split it all up so they don't fight, but I think their hay looks good. They got three quarters of a bale still, and their water is probably pretty good too. Oh yeah, you can see the steam rolling off of it. Oh, they got warm water. These are some bougie goats, dude. It's literally bathtub water. Well, we got them taken care of. I think the chickens need food though. They're about out and they're, they're gonna need some water too. Got any eggs? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we got three eggs. Really? Sheesh. You go and then we're gonna give them some scratch. I started giving these my, to my chickens too. They like it. It's like it's like bird feed. It's like crack corn and all sorts of stuff. Hennifer, right here. Right here, Junior. Get yourself some. Yeah, filled the waters and pretty much good. That's our morning chores. Got three eggs though. That's pretty neat. Well. We've got some fruits and veggies left over from a previous video, if you guys saw it, where we fed them. Uh, and I've been, every day I've been giving them a little bit, like give them some lettuce and stuff and feed them, but we've got a watermelon that we forgot to give them. And I'm thinking, what if we just walked over, smash it on the ground and let them eat it? I think the chickens would like it, for sure. I bet the chickens would murk. Maybe maybe the chickens are the strat. Cause I know they might like it. it. Yeah. I know they'll like it. I don't know about the donkeys. Do they like fruit? Oh yeah. They like anything. Yeah, they'll eat anything. Let's try it. Let's try it with the chickens. Cause I, I feel more confident that it's not gonna go to waste. Chickens, they just won't eat the, the rind part, like the Are you just gonna crust. smash it on the ground or what? That's what I'm thinking. You got any better ideas? Let's do it. Over your head. Millie, yeah, you better watch out. No, come here. Huh. Feast up, boys. Oh yeah, look at her, she's murking. Millie likes it. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, let me give her a try. It's average. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's also great. it's also a winter watermelon. I feel like that's yeah. not the strap for prime. Look at her, dude. She's loving it though. Come on, oh, chicken. Oh yeah. Get in there, buddy. Quacky. Oh yeah. Oh, look, Quacky and Tyrone are here. Come on, Quacky. Get some of that. Quacky, right here. Get some water, Malone. Quacky. Hey, <laughs> hey, Junior. Oh, 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 oh snap! Oh, no, Tyrone. Get some, buddy. Yo, look at them. See, I knew it was a good call. They're, they're, chickens are way better at eating human food, I guess, like scraps and stuff than goats. Goats. Meh. We, we can go, we'll go feed the goats some other stuff too. Millie, Millie is absolutely just chowing down right now. You've never had watermelon before. We got Quacky, Tyrone, everybody. Well, that'll be a good snack. That would, dude, honestly, that'd be such a good snack in the summer. Just buy a bunch of watermelons and each day just, yeah, you eat. And yeah. then the chickens get to eat it every day. It's a little dude, expensive. I feel like watermelon's like a couple bucks. You know how much mealworms are? Yeah, it's true. Meal Super freaking so expensive. <laughs> They're like 30 bucks a bag, That's I feel true. like. This, I feel like, wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Plus, you could get like you need the crappy ones. You need to grow know? them yourself. That's not oh, a bad idea. Yeah. What if we did that? That'd, That'd be, be cool. You got enough property, dude. What? Can you grow? You can grow watermelons here, can't you? You can grow pumpkins. Yeah. I bet you can grow. You can grow squash. So yeah. You should be able to oh, grow yeah. watermelons. You just have to have a lot of land. Yeah. Dude, we should definitely do that. You then can you make just a whole go, video on Then you that. just go grab one and chuck it and then just like feed the animals. Yeah. Growing an entire garden just for the animals. That'd be kind of yes. neat. Yes. That'd yeah. be kind of neat. We've got pears. We've got apples. We've got do they, celery. Do they like grapes? They like grapes. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's hold. Let's get some. Give them some. Ooh, gosh. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. So you take that and we'll give them some lettuce. That's that's yeah, good. Yeah, nutritious get for them. Karen, bro, you gotta peel it for them. <laughs> what do you think they are? An animal? There she goes. Oh yeah, she's ready. You definitely want the banana. Oh yeah, there she goes. There she there goes. There she goes. What that mom do, Karen? Oh God, chill, my lord. All right, well, banana was good. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw. Some of this lettuce by their by their hay that's what i've been starting to do is kind of throw scraps on their hay pile so that way they get hay as well it's not just this karen. stuff but we're gonna see we'll see what they think oh karen look at her she's munching it karen she loves the salad here let's just they get rid of kobe the there you go know. karen now they've got they've got plenty of nutrition pears all right well anyways everything's all fed we had fun they chick chickens have been on the watermelon already the hell man They're wasteful Anyway, oh, wow. Karen, don't beat Millie up. Karen, I hope you're still pregnant. Or if you never were pregnant, I hope you get pregnant. But we're gonna leave you. You guys do, don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? We're good to go. I think, I think it's time to go check the traps. Go find a spot for the bees and uh, head down to the farm. Well, folks, we 
we are looking for a spot right now to put the bees we're thinking down here we just went down to the pond and there wasn't really a great spot down there because we're trying to i don't want to give too much away but we're working on some projects where we might put some buildings down here so i don't want to make sure i want to make sure they're not in the way because in the winter you can move the bees but in the summer and spring and stuff you don't really want to move them because they they basically are out and about basically you move them they may not come back but right now they're all basically together so we're thinking this might be not a bad spot um this is kind of the edge of my property right here we've got some traps set out here but this is it's nice flat ground it, I don't think it'd be too windy. I mean, there's there's hills right there that are kind of blocking it and stuff like that. There's hills and stuff up there that are kind of blocking the wind. It's not like there's a direct wind block, but we could always build something too. Like we could always build like we could always build like a piece of wood or something to cover it. But it's not like it's super windy. Up on top by my house, way up there, it's super windy all the freaking time. But down here, it's usually not that bad. I think this would be not a bad spot. I mean, you could even do. You might want to leave a path in case we want to do something like go down there or walk around. But like off to the side here, maybe. Or you could put it by that tree so it's wind block. Yeah, you could right where that trap's at. you could put them by there. They'd be kind of out of the way too. This could be that could be a good spot I mean, it's already kind of clear too. It's not like you need much room a good a west wind especially in the summer Well summer you're getting west winds and south winds which that's south So you'd get completely blocked there you get blocked from here and then basically in the winter right now That's north. There'd be plenty of trees. Entrance this way. I'd face them this way. Yeah, basically just like we have them now at the farm yep. But just plop them right down here. I mean we can leave that trap here Just we'll clear this space out put them both here in that way you come down the trail, come get your honey, go back up to the house. I think this would be probably our best bet. I don't think it'd be too bad. One thing I didn't think about, I guess we could put it in the, put them in the back of the mule. I didn't think, I didn't think it, once we got here, I didn't know how we, I, I knew how we could get them to my house, but I never thought how to get them down here because I'm not gonna drive my truck down here. So we're gonna move them twice and then put them in the mule, make, hook and go back there yep. and make sure they don't fall and then bring them down here. That's what he's here for. He's doing big things for his country out here. But I think I, I think this will be good. I mean, there's a nice little animal path here. Not that that really means anything. Do deer like honey? Bears like honey. That's the animal that you got to worry about, right? Bears on your property? Yeah, I've seen a couple, but not in a while. So I think we'll be all right. Uh, nothing in the traps, and I think this is gonna be the spot. So we're gonna go to the farm. We're gonna check those traps at the farm too. We've got like literally 30 out there, so we need to go check all them, and then figure out how to transport two giant beehives back to my house. You stay tuned. Shoo! Well, made it down to the farm. Hooking. You ready to see a coyote? I'm ready. Probably not. We probably don't. We, we, probably, we probably don't have a coyote. We're going to go check them traps. We're going to get everything loaded up. We've got some trapping gear in the back of the truck. We got to load up in Z Mule. And then we're going to go run around, check the traps. I, unless there's something super interesting, I probably won't show you guys. If there's a raccoon or, or a coyote look like it was there or anything like that. I'll show you guys. Otherwise, probably not going to really show you guys much and we're going to end up just going to go straight to the beast. But we're going to kind of meander around, get everything loaded up, kind of make our rounds again. Checking traps like we always do. And then we got to bring these bees home. And I just realized we forgot duct tape. Hopefully Kyle's got some duct tape because we, we're going to need some tape. Shoo! Well, folks, nothing on the trap line. Pretty much just a waste of time as always every day. Except when we catch stuff, so I was just kind of kidding. But we got hooking. Hugging, you, have you ever handled honeybees before? I have. Also, fun fact, we forgot all the bee suits at home. Freaking sick. Yeah, we're just going to hope they're really high. Oh, my God, there's one. Do not try at home. I thought they were supposed to be hibernating, bro. There's one right there. It's not, I, I also realize it's not that cold. I'm in a hoodie. It's like 45 out here, so maybe they're not hibernating. Oh God, now this thing just got real interesting because, uh, oh God, he's flying. All right, we'll rip to that guy. He's definitely gonna get locked out. You got the tape, but he's got tape. Okay, so I never look anything up before I do it. How to transport bees. Nope, never did that before. Uh, I assume if you tape up all the holes and uh, strap her down, throw in the back seat with hooking and Bonzo, and you guys can, I'm sitting Wh in the front seat. You guys can whisper. You can be like, shh. So me and John got it? Yeah, yeah, sure. You guys got it. Yeah. That just scared me that I saw two bees. What if they're not in there and we move and all of a sudden, like, all the bees come back tonight and they're like, WTF. You know what I mean? There's no way they're all not in there though, right? I think it's cold. They could be dead too. It's also a possibility. But I don't really, the thing is, I, what I've learned is when you start like opening it up, messing around, then they all fly out. And then why don't we just tape it, move it, and hope for the best? I think that's the strat. If, yeah. if bees are gone, we'll, we'll buy more freaking bees. That's going to be the strat. So. I can't believe we forgot all the bee suits and gloves and helmets and masks and we literally forgot everything for this video, but we're gonna do it anyway. Maybe that'll make it more interesting if someone, you, anyone allergic? I've never been stung by a bee actually. I've been I stung have. by a wasp. I, 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 used to, I used to mess with bees when I was little. What? What do you, why? What do you mean you used to mess with I used to try to catch them, dude. I used to try to catch like them. Like bumblebees? Yeah, like they don't, those don't sting you know those you, ones that are in the purple flowers? Yeah, I catch, I used, no, that's, uh, he's not that weird because I used to do that all the time. I'd take yeah. a little, like a peanut butter jar, an old peanut butter jar, and you'd like, and you would catch them. Sure. Yeah, but that? they didn't sting you. Bumblebees don't sting. They did. They just go bzz, bzz. I, I stung a couple times. By a bumblebee? Yeah. I don't think they actually well, can. I to kill them, though. With your bare hands? Yeah. 
What? Okay. I mean, why we bring this kid? I don't know. I will say I did try to catch a bumblebee when I was younger. I, I trapped bumblebees. Yeah. My OG trap lord skills. Did you ever did trap you? bumblebees? No. No. You didn't. But the, Normal the, kids. The, the bushes in my front lawn in my house had bumblebees. You never tried to catch them with a cup? Yes. Yeah, so you like you put them in a jar and then you just yeah. watch it and you put like a leaf in there There'd and there's no like bzz, bzz, no point bzz, bzz, and then you release them. Any of you guys do that or am I just freaking weird? Me and Hookin. We're just, we're just freaking weird, dude. I, mean, I thought Buddy was a little a little strange, but I guess I'm the weird one. Yeah. Anyways, try to hit this sucker up. We'll see what happens. I, I would assume so. Okay, so this is a good one. This is one we gotta be careful of. Oh, this yeah, is there's definitely only one hole. Thanks for, thanks for that. So this is the one hole that they can come out of, I guess. Yeah, she's taped up, boys. That's what they were. Yeah, so the question These is- These things are heavy. Yeah, that's the problem. They're really heavy. We're gonna move this one first. This one, this is the Cheeks box. Is it gonna take two guys? We should, what do you think about taping this too? Cause that's like the split. Well, I thought we were in a ratchet strap. If you get it tight enough, you think you can get oh, it yeah. tight enough? You think so? To where it wouldn't budge at all? So, I say let's just, where's this thing? We're about to go off. All right. You want long pieces? Dad, just yeah, do please. like each side. Or are you just gonna do the whole thing? Oh, we got this, don't even worry about it. Let's try to get a ratchet strap on it real quick and then yeah. try to move it. I think we should wrap it this way because that lip is gonna again extend it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll get a tighter seal on this way than this way. Okay. You know what I mean? Ideally, you would have like four straps where I brought two. Yeah. Typical. So we're just going to have to make do. So we're just yep. centered up. Okay. There you go. Dude, we, should, we should start a bee farm or something. We're, we're killing it out here. Sure. <laughs> See, I like that. She ain't going Oh, yeah. Nowhere. She's solid. And you've even got a little extra if you want to wrap around the belt a little bit. She. It's like a bow on a present. Yeah. That's like, it's it's doing a lot too. What? Lesson. All right. <laughs> then you gotta say the good old, she ain't going nowhere. Remember when you start something down, you always say oh, that? Oh yeah, you always say that. Oh yeah, she ain't going, oh, yeah, nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. I'll supervise. Go. Is it No. Oh. Come on, beefcake. Got this, Junior. Okay, just set him down right here and we're gonna shut my gate to pinch him in a little bit. Wow, that went really well. Yeah, that did. Oh yeah, she is taut. What can we got? All right. Yeah, she's, yeah, that's good. She's nice and tight. Just how we like it. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I don't have anything to oh, grab God. Two. No oh. one lifted on three. Oh, God. Oh. We're going to have it way heavier. Yeah. Up, 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 up. That's like Woo! 100 pounds, dude. Ooh, you know how much honey's in there? Yeah. That's a lot of honey in there, bro. Let's go. There's some heavy bees. Sheesh. Jeans. Oh, Christ. We got her loaded up. Didn't get stung. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and get these things strapped in. We're off on our way. Shoo. Well, we made it back to my house. I took my truck down the pond. I haven't done that, honestly, since I moved in. I did it right when I moved, or right before I moved, looking at the property, before I had a mule and stuff. Um, but now, yeah, we looked, we backed the truck all the way up, and we got Millie. Farm mascot, I guess you could call her. She's just doing a Millie thing. She'll probably go get caught in a trap here in a minute. But we're going to try and, well, how'd they do, Junior? They're, look, look how good we did. Can you imagine? We did wow. a good job. Yeah. It's because Hogan's here. That's what I'm saying. Cool. You're, you're the glue to the, what to the thing. Yeah, that's what it is for sure. That's why we did a good job. But we've got everything. We need to we need to clear a spot first. We need to move that that trap probably, and then put the pallet down. We could probably just put them on a pallet. One pallet's probably good, and then put the center box on the roof so they don't get blown off, and get them all moved and situated and untape them. And then I'm gonna peek at them. I'm gonna open the thing up and show Hook and what the bee life's all about. Yeah. And hopefully they'll sting, buddy. If we're if we're lucky. Little beefcake. We're killing. It. Ooh. You're good. You're good. You You're good. We're good. No. Don't even worry about it. Hooking. We got it. You can just watch. Boy, there's a lot of honey in there. Sheep. Good God. This thing's heavy. Dude, there's so much honey in there. Has to be. Like an insane amount of honey in there. Take the strap off, and we're going to take a gander at these bees. I'm sure they're all nice and calmed down now. This is the moment of truth. You're free. Oh, what's up, bees? How's it going, little guy? They're chilling. They're gonna have no idea where they're at. Hopefully they don't fly away and die. I'm gonna open this lid, though. I, I doubt many are up here. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Hey, 
Rick, all right, we're friends. Is that another one? Oh God, they are up here. I was just gonna look at them. Oh God. Oh yeah, they're they're there. Not too many. They're all down below. Cause we got the queen the queen blocker down I'm there. The wife right there. Oh God. Oh God, he's gonna wait. Get hooking. It? Yeah. Well, as you can see, there's no honey for us. But yeah. Not yet. This spring, this will be full of honey and we're gonna harvest it and you guys can look forward to those videos. All right, going back on. We're good. Well, bees, You're, are you gonna be the beekeeper? Is that I can, be yeah, your, I can. Is that gonna be your job? It could be. Every day, come down here. I might just become a bee You pet them, you, you milk them, you get their heat, their honey, and then we stick What do you do, feed, you feed them water? Sugar, sugar water. water. Sugar water. Yeah. Only in like the early spring before the flowers bloom. Oh, oh, oh. Millie, oh. Millie, Millie, Millie. That is not something you want to chase. Millie, do not eat that. Puppy meets bee for the first time. Catch, clean, cook. That's the title. We're changing it right now. I'm calling it. What are we cooking? The bee. Oh. Dude, honestly, low key though, if you threw a bee in some like Franks and flour and fried it. Why? It would taste Why? fine. It's just weird. Would it not taste fine? No. It's Bro, not normal. I say we step up the catch like and cook game. Soup. No yeah. one wants to Who? see this. Can we make bee soup? Did you just hear what he said though? Spider soup. He's like, yeah, it's just like spider soup. As if that's something that you eat. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. No, no you haven't. No one's ever done that. Where do you live? Zero people have ever made spider soup. But real talk, what do you think about that? I guess now we're, we're like bees are supposed to like save the economy or environment or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're not supposed to voluntarily kill bees. Eat them. But what if we took one that was like dead and then fried them? I'm not doing that. Pro yes, we are. That's so weird. Yes, well, that, that's that's pretty weird. Yeah. That's pretty weird. Like Sustainable. a bee catch and cook though. But we're all about the catch and cook life. These are the conversations that we have that generally stay off camera, but for some reason John's rolling so perfect. Rants. This is us just randomly just pondering. Yeah, this is this is when Cut. this is when the camera turns off. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the bees video. Hopefully, we get to harvest some honey. That the honey thing, this the hive sucked. This one was pretty good. I think we'll get honey out of this. But I also want to get something. It's called like a flow hive, and you literally can just walk up and like open up a tap and like fill up a jar and like close it. Super sick. So we're gonna get some of those this spring. If you guys are into bees or anything like that, you'll have to stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, Millie's gonna continue to chase the three bees that escaped. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.